Today I'm going to be reviewing Anne Frank's house. Slightly different and off the wall, but I think I've got some information about the whole process that you should know. My family and I took a little trip over to Belgium recently. We just got a new economical car and we thought, why not? Let's have a drive. So we went to Belgium, went to Bruges, and we ended up going to Amsterdam for the day. I think uh, you can't really go over to that side of the continent and not really go to Amsterdam. And my 11 year old daughter really wanted to go and see Anne Frank's house. So we got there about 11 o'clock in the morning and uh, upon arriving we were, uh, put it this way, we didn't expect the length of queue that was there, especially considering it was a weekday. After queuing up for five minutes and not really moving, we decided to go around Amsterdam have a look at the different things, go to Rembrandt Museum, just have a good time and come back an hour before closing. So we get back at about five o'clock and the queue is exactly the same size. It just seems to be a repetitive amount of visitors that go and queue up the same amount that go in. So we're only there for the day and we don't want to stay in Amsterdam too late. I don't really uh, need to explain why. And uh, we queue up for an hour. A whole hour and when we get in it's not cheap either um, yep very not cheap but you know it's one of those things it's it's Anne Frank's house it's a piece of history you know it's uh, hopefully we'll never have a war like that again in Europe and it's it's a thrilling story um, I'm not going to give too much about, away about what's inside, but it's not just Anne Frank's house. They've got galleries there now. They've also got a shop and also they've got books. They've got translations in pretty much every language of uh, Anne Frank's diary. Um, they've also got, um, it's also got pictures inside. For those that like pictures too. Um, and the whole experience was, was really sort of, uh, it was quite touching actually. I think, you know, you can't really understand what these people went through in World War II. We've never had to go through stuff like that. When you're in Amsterdam and you want to see Anne Frank's house, you should definitely book online first. That's my biggest tip. Book online. You can book a slot throughout the day. I think it might even be cheaper um, and it will save you having to queue up. So, yeah. Go to see Anne Frank's house, get yourself a book and wrap it up, put it away and never, never read it. It can be yours from Anne Frank's house.